Hey there, and welcome to another three tip bit. Today, I'm so excited to introduce you to my great friend, Brittany Jones. She's a registered dietitian, and Brittany, I'm already taking away your intro. So Brittany, will you tell us who you are, what you do, and who you do it for? Yeah, hey, thank you so much for having me. I'm Brittany Jones. I'm a registered dietitian, and I'm a group practice owner in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, in the group practice, we work with clients to do one-on-one -on -one nutrition counseling, right now virtually, um, but we do have an office as well where we meet in person. We primarily work with clients to help them find food freedom, to ditch diets. But we also use that time to connect with our clients on helping them with any medical nutrition therapy needs, if it's diabetes or cholesterol, um, inflammatory diseases, things like that, PCOS, so on and so forth. So I do a lot of that, but I also do a lot of meal planning and recipes as well. But yeah, there's three of us and we are all currently virtual which is awesome. Awesome. So good. Well, I can tell you that I am, um, those who are listening, I am a, a testament to Brittany's coaching. Um, I engaged her, um, a, I guess it was probably about a year and a half ago. Yeah. And uh, Brittany is the true pro, knows her stuff. Um, and so I wanted to bring her on the conversation today to give us just three tips um, during these uncertain times. Um, being quarantined, stuck at home, um, there can be a lot of confusion and uncertainty and um, you know, just needing some clarity. So um, Brittany, if you could give us three tips today uh, just regarding our current environment and client, what would those be? Yeah, so three tips that I have for y'all are basically things that I've been hearing a lot from clients and a lot from people on social media. So the first tip is to meal plan. So I have a lot of clients, and like this even happened to me too, where they end up in the grocery store or I end up in the grocery store and I had a meal plan for one week, but I was like, well, let me think about next week too. And then I'm kind of scrambling. So no meal planning and having a list before you go to the grocery store. Like, yes, totally okay to get the box mac and cheese, to get, you know, all of the frozen things. We are all foods fit in our practice. We do not demonize any sort of foods, but you want to have a plan for them. You don't want to just bring home the mac and cheese and then be like, when am I going to eat that? You know, because then it's just going to take up the space. So put it in your meal plan, put the mac and cheese on the meal plan, have a side of broccoli with it, like balance all of that out. So that is one of my really big tips is to have a grocery list going. Um, so you kind of know what you're getting and what you're going to do with it. Um, my second tip is to practice mindful eating. This is the other thing we're hearing a lot from clients and I'm going to share a little bit more on social media tonight, but we have a lot of people saying, I'm just afraid I'm going to eat everything. Um, and there's a great deal of fear and anxiety around food coming up in a lot of our clients' lives right now, in addition to the fear and anxiety that they're feeling about, you know, coronavirus. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about this on Instagram tonight, but really one of the big keys is using mindful eating. So not just grazing throughout the day. So a really easy way to do it, I always tell clients is sit down in a chair at a table with a plate. If you can use silverware, like don't just be grazing and eating in front of the fridge or eating in front of the pantry or eating over the sink. Um, or just kind of like picking and nibbling here and there, because even if it doesn't add up to a whole lot of anything, because that's not going to be something that's going to make or break your diet, I will tell you that. Um, but it's going to create guilt, you know, and it's not going to create confidence around that. So if it is a fun food that you're having, or even if it's veggies that you're having, and you're like, why am I eating this? I'm not paying attention. You want to sit down and eat that mindfully so you can truly enjoy the experience, you know, so you can enjoy the flavor and the texture. And one of the reasons maybe don't eat this box mac and cheese all the time. Why do you love it? You know, why is this one of your favorite things? Why is this one of the things you might keep my eye, you know? So really kind of make it a mindful experience. And then last thing is to give yourself grace. So I've kind of already started saying this a little bit, but keeping in mind, it's not progress, not perfection. This will pass. Um, I know that there's a lot of uncertainty of when it will pass, but it will pass. And you will not come out 40 pounds of your that is not going to happen. Nothing that happens during this time is going to make or break your health goals in any way, and you do not have to be perfect. So um, Lindsay and I both go to Orange Theory. They're closed right now. Um, they're doing really awesome things of online workouts, but it's kind of on us um, to do that on our own and kind of put it into our calendar. But if that doesn't happen in the same way that we were doing it two weeks ago, that's okay. You know, if you just want to walk with your dog and your family every day, instead of doing those HIIT workouts, that's okay too. Um, and again, it's okay to have those fun foods. All we're encouraging is balancing it out with some veggies, balancing it out with some produce, making sure that you still have protein in each of those meals, because those are the things that are going to help keep your immune system up. By still eating those fruits and vegetables, by eating the protein, again, 
even if you're eating it with mac and cheese, even if you're putting frozen broccoli on a pizza. We're totally here for it, but really just kind of giving yourself grace during this time and not feeling like if you didn't do something perfectly that it's gonna mess everything up, so you might as well throw it out the window. That's diet culture and that's not where we're at. So just really kind of giving yourself grace um, and focusing on progress, not perfection during this time. I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for that, Brittany. So what I heard you say was meal planning, right? No different. Mm -hmm. Here, here's the thing, right? Despite the uncertainty that we're in, all the three tips that you shared apply to us all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So meal planning, mindful eating, and then giving ourselves some grace, right? So yeah. thank you for um, always being real, um, making those tips very applicable. Um, tell the group how they can find you and your team and what's the best way to connect with you. Yeah, so I would say probably right now the best way to connect with us is through Instagram um, at Brittany Jones RD. I'm on there a lot um, and we're posting every day with some tips. And you can also go to the website to BrittanyJonesRD.com. And if you want to chat more, we do do a free 15 minute call. So if you want to talk further about any of these topics or any like food fears going on right now, we can definitely talk through that too. So good. And again, I can vouch for Brittany and her team do an amazing job. They constantly bring value everywhere. They touch the online space. Um, specifically, my experience has been on Instagram. So um, yeah, definitely make sure you're following their account and stay engaged. Um, so Brittany, we're going to end on a high note. So um, <laughs> I'm in this uh, group called Strategic Coach, and we usually start our meetings with what they call a positive focus, but we're going to end our conversation with a positive focus. So my question for you is, what is just one thing that makes you really happy? Yeah, I love that. Something that makes me really happy is like so stereotypical being a dietitian, but cooking. Like that is, that's the reason I became a dietitian. So having this time to cook, um, I am excited because I'm working on a recipe for a brand partner and, and that hasn't gotten canceled. So I'm really excited. I'm actually going to be working on a mac and cheese recipe. So it's really interesting for this conversation. So yeah, just kind of cooking, making up new recipes. That's kind of my creative space. So good. Awesome. Brittany, thanks so much for joining us. And thank you for tuning in to another three tip bit. See you on the next call. Thanks.